If it's herpes, I know it's not the end of the world. I'm about to go to my appointment now, so I will come back with an update. <laughs> Herpes. Well, anyway, what a wonderful day. What a wonderful day for a, a woke F-A-F-O moment. Now, many of you might have heard the term in its less PG terminology in the um, F around and find out. But this particular one, I think I wanted to share with everybody because I don't really know I don't really know exactly why everyone puts literally everything on the internet. This is probably a Gen Z thing or a thing for people with terrible eyelashes or something like that. I don't really know. But imagine what I things are different, I guess. Uh getting getting the herp when I was young was a thing that people were deeply ashamed of. They didn't record themselves going on the internet and explaining it all for them and telling the world about getting the herp. Modern hookup culture, I want to talk about that and how it's essentially this, um, this progressive idea that women should, you know, women should be empowered. It's like a, it's taking the... Women empowerments movie to move to the nth degree where, and by the way, I also want to be very clear, ladies, I want you to know this. I am not one that thinks a girl is whoring around, uh, in a party of one. The guys that do it are just as responsible. Okay. I don't. This like online hookup culture has led to a massive rise in STDs. We're going to talk about that. But what what I what I think is is being so we like this is so bizarre that this person uploaded it to the internet. Of course, the dildo of consequences really arrives lubricated. But let's watch this range of emotions that they decided. I'm going to upload this to the internet. Today, my whole life could change. And I'm scared. Friday night, I started having a burning sensation whenever I peed. By the way, this is obviously from having unprotected um, uh, relations. Something that really uh, everybody can, uh, you know, understand that, you know, Use a rubber and you're not going to get the herpaderp. And that is forever. Forever. Uh, was not pleasant. So Saturday I went to urgent care and they put me on medication for a UTI. Get her on so that I cranberry juice. The UTI medication on Sunday. And then that night I noticed that my right lymph node in my groin was swollen. By Monday, the UTI meds still haven't kicked in. It still really hurt whenever I peed. Um, so I By the way, uh, they're uploading this to the internet. I would never, I would never, like, are you kidding me? I remember the one girl that had like, got chlamydia when we were in high school, everyone ruthlessly teased her. Ruthlessly. I called to make an appointment with my gyno. And it's now Wednesday. My appointment's in like half an hour. <sighs> this subject is very stigmatized. It should be. This is the thing. Like, you could tell this is some woke lefty, right? Like, oh, it's stigmatized. Yeah, it should be. Getting an STD is and should always be stigmatized. This is a public service announcement, okay? It's one thing to have a partner uh, who lies about things or whatever, but ultimately you're the one that allows protected or unprotected scenarios to happen. Uh, now, of course, that does not count situations where they weren't a willing participant or something like that, right? It has a lot of shame around it it should but it should then i noticed warts 
<laughs> That's right. It's the herb. Very painful. These last few days, I've just felt run down, icky, haven't had an appetite, uncomfortable. It hurts to walk. It yeah. hurts to sit. It everything hurts. I now she's scared. Okay, right. Um, but it's it's funny like this. If it's herpes, I know it's not the end of the world. I'm about to go to my appointment now, so I will come back with an update. Everything we know, everything we know in the year of year of our Lord in 2023, there should be in the Western world less than a dozen cases of herpes a year. Like everything we know. Now, of course, there is always abstinence. I know this is like you, most young people haven't even heard of that term. I, I, you know, I admit I wasn't someone who, you know, practiced it either. But certainly, that is a one hundred percent way to make sure that you don't get the herpaderp. I have herpes. <laughs> I'm, I'm not even sorry. Is that bad? Is that bad? Is that, am, am I an evil person? I'm sorry, but you put this on the internet. You put this on the internet and we need to bring back shaming. All right. Now, again, the guy that gave it to her also gross or girl, I guess. Like, this is one of my all-time favorite cutscenes. This is one of my all-time favorite hard cuts ever. Are you ready? With an update. I have herpes. <laughs> I don't know why it's so funny. Why are you recording this video? Like, if this is all like an op... Right? Like it's a, it's a awareness, you know, awareness thing. Okay, fine. I just, I can't. I have to go to my appointment now, so I will come back with an update. I have herpes. <laughs> if I want to have unprotected sex, I have to tell them. I don't know. Yeah, you shoulda. I don't know how this is going to affect my dating life. I don't know how this is going to affect my dating life. You don't have to screw everybody you're dating. You don't have to, you don't have to screw everybody you're dating. I like that. I don't know. Someone else is driving her too. So who's in the car? I can't give birth. Badges. Can't have birth, can't give birth. Well, she has to have a C-section because she doesn't want to have a herpes baby. I don't know what I'm supposed to tell my parents about this. I mean, this is, I mean, like, you don't have to hook up with every guy. And by the way, again, I want to be very clear, ladies. The guy is 100% or 50% at blame here too, right? Or girl, whoever, you know? Have these outbreaks for the rest of my life. Yep. <laughs> I feel like my parents are going to be so disappointed in me. You are uploading it to TikTok. You, this is this generation? I just... Why would you upload this? One more time. I just, I, I, I got, hold on. <laughs> hold on. One more time. I have herpes. <laughs> <laughs> it's not AIDS, okay? It's not, it's not going to end her life, okay? But if you look at, you know, this has been an issue 
from these, you know, these Chinese hookup apps and things of that nature. It's like Tinder and Grindr don't want to talk about their role in rising STDs. Health experts see online dating as a new frontier for STD prevention, but major sites do not want to engage. I'm going to make that every time I get a text message on my phone. It's going to be like, <laughs> I have herpes. And then <laughs> every, time, every time I get a text message, <laughs> I have herpes. <laughs> look, I don't, look, whatever. Okay, I'm not shaming. You know, like, look, people make mistakes, all right? What I am shaming is uploading it to the internet. D do people have no shame? Look at this. STI increases syphilis, which is basically was a dead STD for 100 years. Cases spike 74%. 74%. Why do you think that is? I have herpes. <laughs> I don't know this for sure, but does anybody want to take me up on the bet that this is somebody who uploaded TikToks about wearing your mask in public and having social distancing and getting the jab? Does anybody want to guess that if I went to this person's TikTok, I would find them doing videos uh, whining about people not getting the jab? I have a feeling they would. And again, I know it's easy to blame the women, but I guarantee you that man ain't uploading a video talking about it. If the man uploads a video to TikTok, look at if this girl ever sees this video, if the guy that gave it to you is stupid enough to vlog it, send it to me and I'll make fun of him too. I'm, I'm of the, by the way, let me say this. Okay. Just so I'm clear. This is probably radical, maybe, but I, I'm of the mind that anybody who knowingly gives someone else an STD sh should go to prison. Is that crazy? Maybe that's too far. But I think anyone that knowingly does that, because there, no, there ain't no way the guy that gave it to her didn't know. That should be six months in the clink. Six months in the clink. You knowingly do that, you knowingly give someone AIDS, that should be a, a prison sentence of no less than 20 years. But California, they decriminalized it, of course. But that's modern society. <laughs>